Bonjour. Today we're going to be doing the explicit equations for quadratic functions. So as you can see, I have written down all the steps here on the right hand side. So please take notes on this. Uh, as you can see, the first step is to find the first and second differences. So I'm going to do that quickly here. There we go. So from four to six, adding two, adding eight. Mm -hmm. Second difference. So as you can see, this is linear. It's not a constant rate, so it can't be a linear function. Here we go. And for a quadratic function, the second difference will be constant. Okay. So as you can see over here, our first step, we're done. Check. Find A, C, and F of 1. I made a little table down here so we can keep track of our A, B, C's, and F of 1. So A, I described how you're going to be finding A. So make note, the way you find A, which is the coefficient of x squared, is taking the second difference and dividing that by 2. So as you can see, the second difference here is 6. I'll highlight that here. There you go. Oh, that came out really black. It's 6. Divide that by 2, giving us A is equal to 3. So again, 6 divided by 2 gives us 3. And it's telling us to find c as well. c tells us here what c is. c is the y-intercept. So looking at the table, you can see that the y-intercept is where x is equal to 0, in our case, 6. Now f of 1. So the value for when x is equal to 1 which in our case is equal to 14. So you're not going to be able to find B until we use this little equation here. So the third step is to plug A, C, and F of 1 into what I like to call F of 1 is equal to the sum of the ABCs. Okay, so step three here. I'm going to go ahead and plug in into the equation of F of 1 is equal to the sum of our ABCs. I'm just going to write it out there so we can just plug it in. f of 1, 14, should be equal to a, which is 3, plus, we don't know yet, plus c, 6. Now we just have to solve for b. Hopefully you remember this from math 1. I'm going to go ahead and add these two, giving me 9. Now to Solve for b, we need to isolate it. So since we're adding by 9, I'm going to subtract by 9 from both sides. Canceling that out, giving me 5 is equal to b. So b is equal to 5. Now I can fill out the remaining part of this table here. So now that I have my ABCs, I can write the equation in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c by replacing the a, b, c's. Okay, so here is my explicit equation in standard form. We have f of x is equal to a, which is 3, times x squared. So remember, we're going off of this standard form plus b, which is 5, x, plus c. So ignore this. This was only to find our work here, which is 6. And voila, you have your explicit equation right there. 3x squared plus 5x plus 6. But I'm not going to stop there. You have to make sure that you're doing this correctly. So I'm going to do a little check, a brief check here. I'm going to check the point... Hmm, let's just do f of 1. So for every x, I'm going to replace it with 1. So we have 3 times x squared, but I'm going to replace x with 1, plus 5 times x, but replace x with 1, plus 6. Make sure you do the, the exponent before multiplying. Well, 1 squared is just 1. Times 3 gives us 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 6. I think we can do this in our head, right? 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 6 is, in fact, 14. 
which you can see f of 1 is equal to 14. That means your equation is cha-ching, good. All right, so I'm going to give you some more practice problems. Good luck.